Cisco Umbrella Branch is a cloud-delivered security service for the Cisco Integrated Services Router (ISR) that provides the first layer of protection against threats at branch offices. Umbrella Branch provides visibility and enforcement at the DNS layer to block requests to malicious domains and IPs before a connection is ever made. This video shows how to deploy Umbrella Branch on a Cisco 4451 ISR by using Prime Infrastructure application. The video also explains how to create policies to block websites for any devices on your network. Before you deploy the Umbrella Branch, upon provisioning, one should have a token ID and an Umbrella account to log in to the portal. Also, ensure that the device has iOS XE 16.3 image or later with Security K9 license. Here is a simple topology of the Cisco Umbrella Branch deployment. In this branch office topology, employees and guests are in separate VLANs segmented via zone-based firewall. A DM VPN tunnel runs between the branch office and the headquarters. Employee-generated internet traffic rides over the DM VPN tunnel and goes to the internet via the headquarters. All guest-generated internet traffic goes to the internet directly from the branch. The Prime Infrastructure application is loaded on the headquarters server which could be used to deploy Cisco Umbrella on the ISR 4000 router. When the client initiates the traffic and sends a DNS query, the ISR 4451 intercepts and inspects the query. If it is a local domain query and is listed in the optional bypass list, the packet is not changed and is forwarded to the DNS server in the enterprise network. However, for an external domain query, the ISR 4451 changes the destination IP to that of the open DNS resolvers, adds the extended DNS records to the query and forwards it to the umbrella cloud. Based on the device information in the extended DNS record, the Umbrella Cloud Service applies different policies and sends back a response. When the response is sent from the DNS server, the ISR 4451 decrypts the packet and forwards it to the client. For any approved content, the response contains the destination IP address of the web server. However, for any block content, the response will contain the IP address of the blocked page. For any suspicious content, the response will contain the Intelligent Proxy Unicast IP addresses. Please note that you can enable or disable Intelligent Proxy in the Umbrella Dashboard. Let us log in to Prime Infrastructure that manages the ISR 4451 in the branch office. To access the Cisco Umbrella Feature Template, choose Configuration, Templates, Features and Technologies, Feature Templates, Router Security, Open DNS, and select the template. After you select the template, in this case the Open DNS template, click Deploy. Select the device and click Next. Enter the values for LAN and WAN interfaces. Enter the token ID and click Apply. A message that the configuration has been successfully applied on the device is displayed. To check the Open DNS configuration on the router, enter the Show Open DNS Configuration command. Log in to the Cisco Umbrella portal and, based on your requirements, enable Intelligent Proxy and apply policies to block categories. For example, you can configure policies to block games and gambling categories, thereby blocking websites such as 888.com and cardschat.com.
Now, let us try to access one of the sites that have been blocked, for example, 888.com or cardschat.com. Here you can see the blocked message. Pick up the phone and contact your local Cisco account team to get your ISR 4000 series routers to begin enforcing acceptable use policies and blocking ransomware, malware, phishing, and command and control callbacks. Thanks for watching this video.